She's the first person I see when I wake up. She's the last person I see when I go to bed. Carmela Rucker tells me she has felt completely incomplete since her daughter, Taylor Robinson, disappeared on May 3rd, 2013. It's just a feeling of loneliness, emptiness, it's just that hole that you can never fill. Carmela dropped off Taylor at an Akron home where she worked as a home health aide. But when Carmela returned to pick her up the next day, Taylor was nowhere to be found. Four agonizing months later, some, but not all, of Taylor's remains were found in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Two years is a long time to not to know what happened to your baby or who hurt your baby. But we've learned exclusively Akron police could be inching closer to solving the murder. Detective Gary Shady keeps Taylor's file on his desk and reviews it every day. We have been actively uh, investigating some new leads. We have done, uh, conducted a couple of interviews with it as recent as the past couple of weeks. Shady explained recent tips from the public re-energized the investigation. We do have several persons of interest. And police are more convinced than ever Taylor wasn't abducted by a stranger, that she knew her killer. Taylor didn't put herself in those woods. With the anniversary and Mother's Day approaching, Carmela prays the new leads will pan out. I don't want to know the how. I want to know the who. And when that day comes, she knows what she'll say. Hallelujah.